G'day, Lucky here. Now, there were so many awesome announcements at KubeCon that I literally haven't had time to catch up. So I'm starting to go through the backlog of amazing projects, open source projects that were announced at KubeCon. Um, and today I wanted to do a open source unboxing of Conduit. Now, Conduit, if you didn't hear or you missed, uh, missed it at KubeCon, is an ultra lightweight service mesh uh, that sits on top of Kubernetes and it's by the same folks over at Buoyant that brought us Linkerd. So a lot of great experience in that space. Now, some cool things about it is it's ultra light, it's blazingly fast, it's written in Rust, um, so it's memory safe, and there's a lot of other really cool components to it, but I urge you to go to uh, conduit.io um, and take a look for yourself. Now, this is an unboxing, so I'm gonna see if I can get through in a very short amount of time the Conduit install and prove some baseline value. Um, so stick with me now. Let's go install this thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to the getting started guide here. So set up here, we need uh, a Kubernetes cluster that's on 1.8. Okay, let's see what we got. So version short. Cool, so I have a 1.8.2 cluster here and I should have a three node cluster. So I have just bootstrapped right before this video, as you can see, six minutes, uh, a brand new fresh uh, AKS cluster. So uh, feel free if you wanna follow along, you can certainly do that on Azure as well. But I have a three node cluster, so that's easy. So far, so good. Fantastic, install the client. All right, so we are gonna run the install process here. And it's going to go grab um, Conduit 0.1.1 for Mac OS. And let's see what this does while that's downloading. It will go ahead and install it into my path. Then I can run an install. Cool. And really it's just that easy. Okay, so Conduit version 0.1.1. Okay, so make sure it's in my path. I can run this. So I really don't need to follow the docs. So I'm doing an install. What are we creating here? A service account, a cluster role, a cluster role binding, um, some services, a deployment. Okay, so if I just have a look at what that command has actually done, looks like there's a conduit namespace get pods okay things are still coming up looks like we've got the web a controller we're still waiting for a few of those to come up and Prometheus sitting here okay so we're all up and running in 31 seconds so so far so good conduit version okay install we've done that I should be able to run a conduit version and server side is up so we are clean, conduit dashboard. Okay, so far, very slick. <laughs> I've got a long way. Okay, so what do we see here? Um, add one or more deployments to the deployments.yaml file, then run uh, conduit inject to the deployment. Okay, so it sounds very similar for those who are familiar with Istio. Um, I'd expect some kind of sidecar here. Just uh, flicking around the UI a little bit more a couple of components here up and running and nothing else. Okay, fantastic. So that was pretty simple. Install the demo app, see a live version of the demo app. Let's go ahead and do that ourselves. So we're gonna pull this file. Let's go and just have a look at what this is. Emoji vote. Okay, so we've got a namespace, we've got a deployment, we've got a service. We've got another deployment, another service, another deployment and another service. So it looks like there's a web service, there's a voting service, and there's an emoji service and corresponding deployments. But I don't see anything in those deployments um, alluding. So there's single container deployments. Okay. So what we're gonna do from that command is look like we're going to do a kubectl inject skip inbound ports okay and then run it into kubectl apply so i'm expecting it to inject some conduit data plane components and then we should be good so let's have a look we'll run this let's get 
ns we should have the emoji cube cutlash and get pods okay okay so there's a web service that's waiting for a public ip right now um, and once that's up we should be able to access this the other thing i wanted to look at is everything's two or two and we saw that the deployments only had single containers dash and m o g photo okay describe deploy that it's not a deployment because it's a pod let's just take a look at that so what are we actually injected here? The emoji container. Okay, so there's a run conduit proxy init. Okay, so this is the data plane component, very similar. Uh, looks like the service mesh is comprised of sidecar um, conduit. And I expect it to take care of the routing of this emoji service app and get everything up and running. So, while we wait for that to get an IP address, let's see what else, watch it run. Okay, I should be able to get the ingress IP address here and then hit it. Enjoy dashboard. Okay, so let's pop over the dashboard while we're waiting for that. All right, so we see some te telemetry um, in the proxy API, telemetry in the controller. Let's have a look, I would expect to see Three services here, two requests per second, half a request per second, success rate at 160. That's probably while it's coming up. Okay, so we've already got some data in here. No routes, a link to the documentation. So, let's see if we've got a public IP. So this piece is on the Azure Cloud Provider waiting for that load balancer IP address. We should be able to do uh, Describe SVC, web SVC. Okay, so it's still in that control loop um, in the cloud provider code to actually go and provision an Azure load balancer and give me back the public IP and plumb all that in. I probably could, if I really wanted to, just do this. How about we do that? We're going to do a port forward here. Port forward. to that pod, the web service on port 80, 80, 80 to 80, Let's see if that works, local host 80, 80. Okay, so all I'm doing is bypassing, waiting for the public interface to come up and hitting it internal using kubectl port forward. Okay, view the leaderboard. Okay, there's quite a few vote on my favorite. Um, obviously, this is my favorite. Show how you stack up against others. So the donut is winning. Let's see if I can go find the donut. Because I don't mind that. Okay. Yeehaw. And if I pop back over here, now we can see some more requests going through. This is slowly coming up, this voting service. And we're seeing differences in the request and the success right there. All deployments have been added. So that is, uh, looks like a three-tier app on top, three-tier app in my five-second look at it, a three-tier app on top of Conduit as a service mesh. I've gone from zero to Conduit to deploying an application on top of Conduit in less than five minutes. It's really that easy. So I encourage everybody to take a look. I'm very excited um, for this project and what uh, is to come. So big thank you to the Buoyant team, and I look forward to playing it uh, with Conduit a little bit more. Thanks for joining. Cheers.